Hi guys! Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lawrence and you're watching Unruptured TV. I'm an overseas Filipino worker based here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And in today's video, we're going to be unboxing a uh, new gaming chair that we just bought earlier today. It's the... Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lawrence and you're watching Unruptured TV. Uh, I'm an overseas Filipino worker based here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a gaming chair that we just bought er Stop! Stop! We're gonna be unboxing a gaming chair that we just bought today. It's the Gaming Freak. <laughs> Katingin ka, kala mo. Okay. Let's do this again. Okay. Alright, so in today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a new chair that we just bought earlier today. It's the Gaming Freak Throne GTS. I'm gonna be doing a um, time lapse for you guys, and uh, a separate video will be done for, I would say, the uh, product review and testing. But uh, for now, this is just gonna be an unboxing. Let's go! Alright, so before we proceed with the unboxing, of course, we're going to need a few things. We're going to need scissors and a screwdriver. Uh, I got here a um, mechanical screwdriver. You can use a traditional screwdriver. doesn't matter. So, yeah, let's bring the box out. Let's go! Alright, so we got here the backrest and uh, you can see we have the Gaming Freak logo right there and we've also got the Gaming Freak logo at the back. Alright, so you got here your wheelbase and uh, it feels really heavy, feels really sturdy and it's made of steel basically, you can hear it. Right. Alright, so here we got the gas lift and this actually goes underneath your seat and the other end goes to the uh, wheelbase and we got here these cones which actually covers the gas lift so that it won't expose the gas lift when you adjust your seat height. Okay, now this is quite heavy, one of the heaviest parts. Okay, we got your caster wheels right here. We got five of them. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Uh, we got plastic covers here, I believe, for the sides of the chair that will cover your uh, levers. Oh, okay. So we got here some screws and um, it comes with an Allen wrench and a screwdriver so if you wanted to use that you're fine and this is what actually contributed to the weight of the packaging here oh my god this is roughly five or less than 10 kg we got the tilting mechanism this allows you to tilt your chair like your grandmas and granddads, tumba tumba, you know what I mean? Tumba tumba, yeah. And this also allows you to adjust the seat height. Uh, you can um, lower down your seat and of course, raise it up. Manual. This is the actual seat. This is the seat and it's uh, really heavy. According to the box, it says, uh, or the product descriptions, it says that the, the net weight of this thing is about 25 kilograms. 
gross weight is around 29 kilograms. So it's quite heavy. It's quite sturdy. <laughs> well, anyway, let's get into the details later on. Uh, I'm gonna start assembling the chair. So the wheels or the casters are similar to what you have in your on your had there on your um, roller blades and uh, I don't know how it's gonna work but it looks like it's uh, good quality plastic plastic and rubber combined so let's put them on Alright, so I'm currently editing this video that you're watching right now. That's pretty much it for this unboxing. And that is your AVF or your Gaming Freak Throne GTS. And I picked this up from uh, ViewNet in uh, Plaza Loyat earlier today. Um, uh, in, here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, obviously. So I'm not sure if this is uh, available anywhere in the Philippines or maybe you can try checking your online stores, maybe uh, Lazada or Shopee, they might have it. So uh, as far as the price is concerned, this is not really a, a cheap chair, I would say, because uh, the original price when it was initially released in the market about uh, six months ago late first quarter or early second quarter of the year it was around a thousand and uh, four hundred ringgits so that's close to fifteen thousand or sixteen thousand pesos and the reason that i picked it up today is because it was on sale and i didn't really think that i might be like i'm not i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to see it on sale again so i decided to pick it up from one thousand four hundred ringgits it's down to 1100 so i saved about 300 and for for the build quality of this chair and um, i mean you've seen a few clips earlier where i was rocking the chair back and forth i was riding it and um, i mean it's it's pretty tough i would say compared to the chair that i was using uh, which is the uh, GT Games chair that cost uh, around 180 ringgits, so about 2,500 pesos. So there's a huge difference between the build quality um, the moment you 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 sit on these chairs. You, you you're definitely gonna feel the difference. Um, but though I, I can't really compare this with uh, those high-end brands like the Secret Labs and uh, the Herman Miller's Noble Chairs, um, I don't have any of those, and uh, I mean I don't have any plans of buying those because it's like uh, double the price of this particular item. It could be even 
triple. I don't know. But yeah, again, I'll test the chair as much as I can. I'll use it. Uh, I'll be working um, while I'm using the chair. I'll be gaming while I'm using the chair. Might be sleeping on the chair as well. Who knows? Uh, give me another week. I'll get back to you guys. And, um, you know, if you like this video, feel free to hit that thumbs up button. If you don't, leave the comments. Uh, I mean, leave your comments in the comment section below. I'd be glad to hear your your reactions. And um, consider subscribing as well. I mean, if, if you are interested to know the specifics about this chair right here, like the mechanisms, and uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, yeah, subscribe to my ch uh, channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload that second part. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut this short. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, if you're a content creator or a streamer, keep streaming, keep creating those videos, even if no one is watching. Eventually, someone will do. My name is Lawrence, and you're watching Interrupted TV.